today. I'm so excited. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean if you haven't been here before and today I'm so excited because we are playing with some colored hair dye. You guys can tell in the thumbnail, but I bought the L'Oreal Colorista one day color like little sprays. I've seen these all over YouTube, a lot of sponsored videos. This is not sponsored whatsoever. I went to the store, bought these myself. I really want to see if they work because if these work, I honestly see myself using these kind of often. I am someone who likes to change my hair a lot. You guys can tell I like to chop my hair up. I like to dye it, but I don't like doing things too crazy because I know once you do one thing, you can really ruin your hair. So I don't think I could ever fully bleach and dye my hair pink. I've always wanted pink hair. Maybe one day, correct me if I'm wrong, if I ever do that. But for now, I think these will be super cool. So we're just going to test them out together here. First, these are $9.99. They're 10 bucks, and they have a whole bunch of different colors. They have like the vibrant range, and then they have a pastel range, which is so pretty, but probably will be better for blonde hair and then they have like a metallic range so I bought the blue from the vivid range and then I bought the hot pink from the vivid range and I got the purple and then I also got the rose gold so I've actually already played with the purple and blue one night I'll pop a picture on the screen I posted on my story a couple days ago if you guys saw that kind of teasing this video I bought these at Walgreens I think because they didn't have the pink I originally wanted the pink then the next day I went to CVS and got the pink one in this rose gold I kind of want to do like an ombre using these two doing like the hotter pink and then doing the rose gold on my ends. I am curious to see how these show up. The purple and blue definitely showed up on my hair but it kind of took a lot to spray in there and then by the end of it I just had so much of it in my hair that I don't think I would actually go out wearing that. I'm going to try and not spray too much of it and kind of really focus the color where I want it and don't go overboard. I am going to tie half of my hair back and do like the underneath layer first I guess. And then we'll do the top layer. I don't know. Kind of all over the place with this video just because I'm excited. So I'm going to take this towel. I saw, I was watching so many of these videos. Someone like did this to protect their shirt and stuff. So on the bottle itself, it says, place a towel around shoulders to protect clothing. Oh, good thing I already learned that from a YouTuber. Shake well before each use. Hold can four to six inches from dry hair and spray. Wait a few minutes for color to dry completely. What to expect? The lighter your hair, the more vibrant your color result. Obviously, all over coloring may require more than one can. Wow, okay. And then it says visible on all hair types, washes out in one shampoo. Cool, I wish I had blonde hair. If you guys have blonde hair, definitely try this out because I'm excited. So we're gonna shake it up and we're gonna spray like midway down our hair first. Oh, I just sprayed my ear. Wow, the pink actually shows up a lot. One thing I will say, it's kind of hard not to get it on your face, so I would recommend doing, if you're like actually gonna wear this out, do your makeup after. I already had makeup on, so. That worked. So we're gonna take the rose gold and do our ends. I feel like this would be prettier if my hair was curled. It's not really showing up. The rose gold isn't really showing up. It's kind of just making my hair wet. I don't think I like that one. Okay, let's put this part of our hair down. I'm just gonna like spray the crap out of my hair with the pink here. ham on the pink. There is dye all over my hands. 
but I think that's kind of expected. I don't know. It says you have to let it dry. I just want more. Like, I want my head to be fully pink. I'm gonna go wash my hands, and then I'll take this towel off, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with my pink hair. I kind of want to let it dry a little bit more. I washed my hands. It came off my hands super easily. I missed a few spots, but it definitely, like, transfers. I think that's why they say you need to let it dry. So, and you can see it's like on my forehead a little bit. I'm gonna let this dry for like 10 minutes and then I'll kind of play around with it and talk to you guys. So first off, this is what it's looking like. Um, the roots definitely catch it the most. Let me zoom in. The roots definitely catch it the most. It's kind of hard to spray it in your hair, especially with mine being kind of straight and flimsy right now because the sprayer is so harsh. That it kind of sprays right through and gets like patches inside if that makes any sense i feel like this might work with dirtier more textured hair so it can really grab onto your hair easily or if it was like curled or styled a little bit more rather than being straight or even if you just had a ponytail and you did the ponytail a certain color i think that would be really cool the biggest problem having with this is the transfer i washed my hands i let it dry for how long does it say wait a few minutes. I waited much longer than a few minutes and it's still transferring, especially on my nails, which I will take blame for just because I have long acrylic nails, so it probably sticks to that faster. But like, I can't even touch my hair without getting on my hands, which worries me because if I went out and actually did stuff, I'm wearing this white shirt, would it just transfer on everything that I'm doing? I don't know. Also, it got a little bit on my forehead and face, so if you did want to do this, I would recommend doing your makeup after. But yeah, I don't really know the solution to like making this actually last so I can wear it out and touch and feel my hair like it's actually dyed because I love how it looks. It looks so cool. It's so fun. Just have a little bit of color in your hair for the day. If you're going to a concert, if you're going somewhere fun for the night and you just want to do something a little bit different, I think it's really, really cool. Let's try just playing with some of these other colors. So I don't know. This isn't really a review. It's more just me playing. But if I had to like give my final thoughts, I'd probably use this again for something. I just need to figure out how to make it last. Or I'd have to style my hair a specific way to make things work well. I mean, imagine if you had super long hair and spraying it on your ends, it would get all over your clothes. So, I don't know. Let's play with some of the other colors just so you can see it. I'm going to do this rose gold on my roots just so you guys, I think the roots you guys can see much better. There we go. The rose gold is basically just sparkles. I do not like how that looks. It looks like I have gray hair. Um, I definitely do not like this. There's just not much color to it. It's really just like glitter. And no, not a fan. This purple. The purple's quite dark. Ooh, the purple looks pretty with the pink though. Let's try this blue. They have a really pretty mint green, but there's no way that would show up on my hair enough. The blue is pretty dark as well. Those actually look really pretty all mixed together. Obviously, I'm not really trying right now. I'm just kind of spraying it to show you guys. Ooh, that's vibrant. I'm literally going crazy. See? It's messy. It's very, very messy. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. It's getting, like, everywhere. Okay, well, I guess that wraps up this video because I don't really know what else to say. It was kind of fun. Let me know if you guys like these more, like, chill videos. It's nothing serious. Just wanted to play with something fun. Try it out for yourself. I think I've seen so many good reviews. I think I need to look up how to make it last or not go everywhere. Or maybe those reviews are just lying to you. I don't know. But it's fun. It's fun to play with. Probably fun for, like, friends, for a birthday, even for younger girls to play around with for a day. I think it's really cool. Definitely shows up, which is fun, because I know girls with dark hair, all those colored sprays never used to work, but these definitely have 
that color pay off in them. So yeah, that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know down below what you guys want to see next for me. And also don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'm at Emily Jean Beauty on Instagram and Twitter. So catch me over there. Send me DMs, like photos, comments, and I will talk to you guys on those platforms. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that big red button down below. We just passed 100k, so I want us to keep on growing. And also ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go wash off my hands and try and take some cool photos with this hair. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Stay here.